Hey guys, it's Cena. I hope you can hear me. It's raining cats and dogs, and it's black, kind of loud. I sit in the car, kind of loud. You guys, another. I'm one person. I'm one person. Today is William Wednesday, but I'll get to that in a second. Craziness has hit me again. What? What do I have to do? So this morning, I, the boys get on the bus. They they head to school. The, well, they were off for a little while. They were gone. I get up. I'm making me some coffee. And I'm like, got to do weigh-in. It's weigh-in Wednesday. So I'm getting ready. And I get a text from my son. It's a screenshot of social media. I think it was Snapchat or something. There was a threat to their school about shooting. You know these kids. So I didn't panic right away. But about two minutes later, I get an um, auto call from the principal that dreaded call saying that it was a credible threat and they were taking it serious and the school was under lockdown you guys I in PJs and all jumped in my car and I flew up here I'm sitting outside the school now because it's time for them to get out of track practice in a minute and I'm circling the school I'm sitting across the street I see that the it swarmed with police fire department was here it was a it was total chaos so I was really nervous so at least I had text, you know, communication with the boys. Well, one of them anyways. We'll get to this broke cell phone of one of the boys. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, what in the world are these kids doing? This, is, this isn't funny. So they took it very seriously, my son said. They searched everyone's locker. They searched everyone's backpack and person. So they, to me, they should have just released the kids because they weren't getting anything accomplished anyways. They should have searched them on their way out. But they kept them on lockdown the rest of the day, but they did give it all clear. But after two hours of me going up and down the street of the school and sitting in front of the school, it, yeah, my morning was shot. You guys, this is, a, it's not just, there's a kid screaming outside the car. Uh, it's not just our school, it's every school across the country is dealing with this, but as a parent, good grief, I'm tired of doing videos about this. So moving on. So yeah, my son's phone exploded. I don't know, it's probably hard for you to see and know how cracked up this thing is it's melted and it popped open and it, the screen is shattered it is a mess he plugged it in and it started smoking and he heard a poof and it just started crumbling it just melt it melted it's 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 a mess and the smell I guess I put it in a ziploc so I don't smell it it was awful so my husband picked it up with some uh, kitchen tongs and took it outside and put it on the cement. So I'm going to have to take this to the cell phone place. Anyways, phones are not cheap and this phone is less than a year old. So yeah, that was some more drama that happened. But anywho, yes. So this morning, when I finally did get it back home, I had some coffee that I had just picked up. I had realized I left the coffee pot on at home, but it was enough coffee that it was okay. And um, it clicked off too. Thank goodness for auto shut off. Um, and so I had coffee and stuff before I waited and had water with me. <sighs> but I had a 1.2 pound game. It is what it is, you guys. Knew it was going to happen. It's still, even though I was said, I'm not going to get mad about this way, um, game. But I was looking at my journal and it does kind of frustrate me because I kicked butt most of February. I'm going to say 95%. And... You have one fun weekend and you gain weight. And it could, it probably was even worse Monday, but I really, really worked Monday and Tuesday, you know, so I could have a decent weigh in. <sighs> so my thing is, how is it that, you know, people say you can't, you don't get, you didn't gain it overnight. Well, I do. It comes back so fast. So my weight loss for February was awful. I think it's like one pound something ounces. I don't even know if it's that. I'll put it at the bottom. I didn't bring my journal with me. Yeah, I had one day. I think it was Valentine's Day. I had lunch. It was like M&M's. But even when I do, and I will say every week in February, except this last one, I never used 100% of my weeklies. I, uh, I always left over, had leftovers. And it's with the exception of this last week. So I'm like, 
really no oh, anyways moving on i know everyone's gonna say don't beat yourself up it's life move on yeah but it's frustrating when you've worked so hard and you get little tiny results that's frustrating so anywho this video is already getting long like i said cell phone destruction have to take care of that and then we had another issue um this rain parts of Nashville are, are starting to flood so hopefully this rain will let up that's not really a big issue well it is a big issue if it continues to flood so we hope that stops and um yeah you guys I'm, I'm frustrated I'm trying not to be you guys what do I do I I know I'm not supposed to beat myself out I know I'm supposed to chalk it up and move on but it is really frustrating I'm frustrated darn it <laughs> So, I'm moving on. Moving on again. I'm going to start a collaboration tomorrow. Thank you, Gina Pearson, for inviting me to do a, um, a collaboration. And you'll see that tomorrow. And the start of it tomorrow. And, yeah, March. We're just going to pray March is better because February wasn't mm -mm, not so good. So, I noticed a lot of people had the kind of same issues I had this month. They had a gain. It kind of knocked their February off. So, come on, guys. We'll push for it for March. I'm trying to stay positive. Love you guys. Hugs.